Score Communications presents Boston Red Sox Replay 2004. Tonight, from the ballpark in Arlington, a doubleheader between the Boston Red Sox and Texas Rangers. Why, well, hi there, I'm Ron Chuckett. Pleasure to be with you on a hot and steamy night in North Texas. It's May 1st, it's 87 degrees. The wind is blowing in. Last night, the last day of May, was a rain out. So they'll play a straight, honest-to-goodness doubleheader tonight here at the ballpark in Arlington. The ball is expected to fly out. There's kind of, the game has kind of mixed up the lineups. You are going to get the second game lineup first. So if anyone's following along and was looking at the see with the, who the real starting players were for game one, and you'd have to be pretty picky to do that. The pitching matchup should have been Pedro Martinez in Game 1 and Bronson Arroyo in Game 2. Instead, you get Bronson Arroyo in Game 2, and you get Ryan Drees. Before we get to that and the Texas Rangers, by the way, the Rangers record is 12, 10 and 12. The Red Sox are 12 and 9 and are, a half, are tied for first. The Orioles have slumped in the last few days, and the Yankees and Orioles have split the first two games of their weekend series at the stadium so right now the Red Sox and Yankees are tied for first here's the lineup for game one of this twin bill Johnny Damon will lead off for Boston and play center Bill Miller the third baseman bats second David Ortiz the DH will bat third Manny Ramirez the left fielder bats fourth Brian Dalbach is playing first for the for the opener uh, and batting fifth Kevin Millar bats sixth Mark Bellhorn bats seventh Doug Mirabelli, the catcher, bats eight because you're not going to have Veritech catch both ends of it. And Pokey Reese will be the shortstop, batting ninth. The defense around Mr. Drees, Eric Young is in left field. He is below average arm and just around an uh, average range. David DeLucci is in center field, below average range and average arm. Minch is the right fielder. I believe it's David. They'll correct me when I correct myself when I was there. Average range, average arm, or average range rather, and below average arm. Hank Blaylock is the third baseman. He's average all the way around. Michael Young, the shortstop, he's the one that got to replace Alex Rodriguez. Remember, Alex was with the Rangers and went to the Yankees, uh, and he's average. And Alfonso Soriano is at second above average, and Mark Teixeira. I wonder where we've heard that name before. Not in this replay yet, anyway. He is above average first baseman and behind the plate Gerald Laird and on the hill wearing the Orioles hat in the picture is Ryan Drees who is 1-0 on a year with a 3-4-6 ERA 13 innings pitched, 12 hits allowed, a home run, he has walked two and struck out four and as Johnny Damon steps to the plate let me get the mouse in the right area This will be the lone, I believe, the lone stop for Boston in Texas this season. Uh, and it's always been a house of horrors. In fact, in real life, the Rangers swept this series. And the Red Sox left at 15 and 11. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. All right, so Damon will lead off Johnny at 313, three homers and 13 RBI. This one starts with a pop-up to center. DeLucci's there and makes the first out. That'll bring up Bill Miller. Bill at 198, still struggling a bit at the plate. Two homers and nine RBI. Dries delivers. There's a comebacker to Dries. Throw to Teixeira, two out. David Ortiz, the batter. David at 293, six homers and 23 RBI. By the way, we make no pretense that these games are you're treating them that we're actually in 2004, and this May 1st, 2004. We treat them like we're taping them in 2015, and it's the first taping session since David Ortiz has hit his 500th career home run. So congratulations to Large Father on a tremendous accomplishment. Drees delivers, and Ortiz swung on and missed strike three. No runs, no hits, no errors. We play one half of one inning, and Boston did not score. Texas coming up, and here's the lineup they'll play, put out there. Michael Young will lead off. Hank Blaylock will bat second. Alfonso Soriano will bat third. Fulmer, the DH, bats fourth. He's a left-handed hitter. Mench will bat fifth. Teixeira will bat sixth. 
Young, the left fielder, bats 7th. David Lucci, the center fielder, bats 8th. And Gerald Lear will bat 9th. Dries, by the way, will go about 105 pitches. And I'm sure Texas would take all of those. He threw 16 in the first. Bronson Arroyo on the hill for Boston. The defense around him, Manny Ramirez, Johnny Damon, and Kevin Millar in the outfield. Bill Miller, Pokey Reese, Mark Billhorn, and Brian Dabach in the infield. And Doug Mirabelli behind the play. Bronson, 643 ERA, 0-3 the record, 14 innings, 11 hits. Pitched well his last time out. He's allowed two homers. He has walked nine and struck out 12. Young, Michael Young, is at 253. We've gotten enough in the season that people are about to hit 100 at bats. He's hit two homers and driven in six. Arroyo delivers, and there's a ground ball base hit into right. The alarm will throw that in, and Young is a threat to steal. Hank Blaylock the batter. Great start for Blaylock. 333 the average, eight homers, and 16 RBI. Royal throws back to first, and Young, who has a 70% chance, it does not change. Is back safely. Laylock will swing, and it's a ground, a fly ball in a shallow right that will drop, and so it's two quick hits for Texas. Young stops at second, Blaylock on first, and that'll bring up Alfonso Soriano. Not a great start to the year for him. 185, three homers, and 13 RBI. He has struck out 25 times the first month of the season. Royal deals, and it's a fly ball to the left that will go to the wall. Ramirez throws it back in. Young will score. Blaylock will hold it third, and Soriano is on second with a double. One nothing Texas. They have three hits. Brad Fulmer, the batter. The DH is at 234. Two homers and four RBI. Royal deals. Popped up. Mirabelli takes off the mask and gets the first down. Kevin Mench the batter. Kevin Mench, okay. At 244 on the cyber season with three homers and nine RBI. Royal pitches is a fly ball to left. That will drop. Playlock will score. Soriano scores. Mench goes for third. And he's in there with a triple. So Manny threw it in, but it wasn't in time. And Texas now leads it 3 0. The dimensions, this is a big ballpark. But it's a hitter's park because of the heat and humidity. It's 332 down the line and left. 404 to the alley and left center. 400 to dead center. 407 to right center. Seems kind of big to me. I don't think it's that big. And 325 down the line and right. Mark Teixeira, who had a huge 2004 at 313. He started hurt. So in limited duty at 313, a homer and five RBI. One out, three nothing Texas. Royal delivers, and that's popped up. Damon comes in, makes the grab, bench will tag. Here's the throw, and they got him. So it's a double play to end the inning, but not before the Rangers score three runs on four hits. We've played one in Texas, and the Rangers lead it 3-0. So the Red Sox have their work cut out for them. It'll be Manny Ramirez, Brian Dabach, and Kevin Millar here in a second. Manny at 291, five homers and 17 RBI. Dries delivers, popped up. Young is there and makes the grab for the first out. Arroyo, by the way, in that cluster of a first inning through 22 of his 105 pitches. Brian Nabok is two for four on the year with an RBI. Has not homered yet. Pitch from Dries is a fly ball to left center. Back goes Eric Young and that will grab the wall. DeLucci comes in, throws it in, and the Dauber has a double. And that'll bring up Kevin Millar, who's at 264, three homers, and 10 RBI. Millar hits a ground ball right back to Dries, throws to Teixeira for the second out. Dauber, who has the speed of me on second, stays on second. And that'll bring up Mark Bellhorn, 254, three homers, and 12 RBI. Reese delivers, and it's a comebacker right to Dries again. Throws to Teixeira to retire the side. No runs, one hit, no errors. We've played one and a half. Texas three, Boston nothing. So that was a rough start for Arroyo. 22 pitches and four hits, three runs all earned in the first. Eric Young will lead it off for the Rangers. He's at 175, no homers and two RBIs. 
And EY grounds one to Pokey, throws to first in time. David Alucci, the batter. David at 212 on the year, three homers and five RBI. And Arroyo gets him to swing and a miss on a breaking ball for strike three. Full count pitch, that's the first strikeout for Arroyo, and that'll bring up the catcher, Gerald Laird. Looks happy in this picture, doesn't he? He's right on his real life average for the year, 224, one homer, which is, matches his real life total, and three RBI. Arroyo got him on the outside corner with a fastball. No runs, no hits, no, er no errors. He slows down, he settles in and gets the side in order. We played two, Texas two, Boston nothing. Doug Marabelli, the batter, Doug at 200 on the year with no homers and an RBI. Pokey and Damon to follow. Pitch to Mirabelli as Reese gets a strikeout. Swung on and missed on the full count. That's two for Ryan. And now we'll bring up Pokey Reese, who's at 233, no homers and six RBI. Reese delivers, flying drive right to Teixeira, two out. So Reese is on a roll so far. 41 pitches, however, to get through the side the first time. Johnny Damon is 0 for 1. Reese delivers. Ground ball to Blaylock. Throws it to Sherrod. And the sign goes down in order. No runs, no hits, no errors. We played two and a half. It's Texas 3, Boston nothing. So Arroyo, after that rocky first, comes out for the third at 38 pitches through his first time through the lineup. Two innings. Four hits, three runs all earned with two strikeouts. Michael Young singled and scored his first time up. Blaylock and Soriano to follow. And Young hits a high fly ball to right. Back goes Millar and that will grab the wall. Young is in with a stand up double. And the Rangers lead off the third with a base hit. Hank Blaylock who singled and scored will bat. Pitch from Arroyo is a line drive right to Bell Horn for the first out. He had to leap and make the catch, but that's a big out. One out for Soriano, who doubled his first time up, drove in Young, and would later score himself. Well, Royal Deals got him! And an 0-2 changeup. Swung on and missed strike three. So Brad Fulmer, who's 0 for 1, two outs, Young on second, 3-0 Texas here in the bottom of the third. First of two, it's a double header on a Saturday night. The pitch, and it's ball four. So Fulmer gets the walk, first walk for Arroyo. Devin Mitch, who hit the big two-run triple in the first, will bat. Arroyo deals, Mitch pops this one into center. Damon's there to retire the side. No runs, no hits, no wears. We played three. Texas three, Boston nothing. So as we go to the fourth, it'll be Miller, Ortiz, and Ramirez. Drees 45 pitches now through three. Arroyo's at 66. Miller is 0 for 1. And he strikes out. 2-2 two -two pitch was a strike three called at the knees. So that's three strikeouts for Drees, and that'll bring up David Ortiz, who struck out his first time up. Breeze delivers, and there's a line drive down the line and right. Back goes Mitch to the wall and makes the grab for the second out. Manny Ramirez is 0 for 1. Pitch from Dries. Ground ball to Blaylock. Throws to Teixeira to retire to the side in order. I'm starting to wonder, no longer wondering how the Sox got swept in this series. No runs, no hits, no errors. Three and a half in the books. It's still Texas 3. Sox nothing. Teixeira, Eric Young, and David DeLucci will bat here in the fourth. Teixeira is 0 for 1. Royal delivers. There's a pop-up. Damon's there in center to make the grab. Again, I got caught looking at what the line was doing for a reason, not the ball. One out for Young, Eric Young, who's 0 for 1. And the Royal plunks him. Oh, boy. Got him on the ribs. That'll bring up DeLucci, who was a strikeout victim his first time up. A Royal deals, ground ball to Bellhorn, flips to Reese for one, over to Dombach, they turn it. A huge double play, no runs, one hit, no hits and no errors. We played four, the Rangers three, the Red Sox nothing. So Brian Dombach, who has a lone Red Sox hit, will lead off the fifth with Millar and Bellhorn to follow. 
363 pitches now. And here we go. Ground ball to Young in the hole over to Teixeira for the out. Kevin Millar will bat. Kevin is 0 for 1. And Dries hits him. So a little retaliation. Little tit for tat, shall we say. Millar trots to first. I don't know why you would do that with a three-run lead. But Bellhorn is a strikeout guy. He's 0 for 1. He has not struck out tonight, but fanned 24 times in the month of April. And Bellhorn hits a ground ball to first. Teixeira flips it over to Drees for the out. Millar moves on to second. Two out for Doug Mirabelli, who struck out his first time up. No runs, one hit, no errors for Boston. The Red Sox have stranded one. Texas, three runs on five hits, no errors, and they have left two on. Here's the pitch to Mirabelli, fly ball to the left. Eric Young is there, makes the catch to retire the side. No runs, no hits, no errors again, halfway home. It's the Rangers three, the Red Sox nothing. And as you sit and listen to this doubleheader or watch on YouTube, you might want to go to your fridge and pull out a neighbor, or pull out, <laughs> pull out an Eric Anson and call your neighbor and say, Howdy, neighbor. Let's have a Gansett. The Nar Narragansett Brewery and Boston Red Sox. Legends together. It'll be Gerald Laird, Matt Young, and Mook, uh, Hank Blaylock. Getting my sports confused here. The bat here in the bottom of the fifth. Laird has struck out his first time up. Arroyo is up to 78 now through four. But it struck out three. Laird, fly ball to right. Millar is there, one out. I think for the most part, Terry Francona will take this appearance from Arroyo. He's kept them in the game. Michael Young is two for two. He has doubled and scored and singled. And it's a line drive deep to left center. Damon is there, two out. Okay, Blaylock who singled in the first and scored. The plate is one for two. Arroyo delivers and there's a pop-up. Dabok is there to retire the side. No runs, no hits, no errors. We played five full. It's Texas three, Boston nothing. So yeah, I think anytime you can get five out of five or six out of your fifth starter, I think you've done well. One bad inning so far. Drees, on the other hand, has pitched quite well. Five innings, a hit, and three strikeouts. And the 76 pitches. Pokey reads the banner. Pokey's 0 for 1. And there's a ground ball to Young. Throws it over to Teixeira for the first down. Johnny Damon, the batter. Johnny is 0 for 2. He hits a line drive right to Drees. Just, that's a hockey save play. Just get the glove up and, and catch it. And hope you don't get plunked in the face. So two out for Bill Miller, who started to heat up over the last weekend. Is 0 for 2 tonight with a strikeout. Miller hits a line drive to left center. DeLucci runs over and makes the grab to retire the side. No runs, no hits, no errors. After five and a half, it's Texas three, Boston nothing. So Arroyo will start the six. Whether he finishes it is another story. It'll be Soriano, Fulmer, and Mench. Soriano is one for two in an RBI double in the first. And has struck out his last time up. Arroyo deals, and there's a high fly bottle left. Back goes Benny to the wall, and he makes the catch on the track. So one out for Brad Fulmer, who has walked and was retired his last time up. He's 0 for 1. Fulmer pops this one up. Dabak puts up the glove, and there's two out. If you're wondering, it's cooled off to 76, and the wind is now blowing out to left. The manager for the Rangers in 2004, before Ron Washington, was Buck Showalter. He got him in a position to win, and it was Washington who, who took him over in the promised land of, of the two straight World Series. Kevin Mench, the banner. Kevin had that big two-run triple on the first. He's one for two. The Royal delivers. There's a ground ball to Bellhorn. Flips over to Dabak to retire the side. That probably, well, we'll see what we do with the Royal. No runs, no hits, no errors. We played six. Texas still leads 3 0. And David Ortiz, Manny Ramirez, and Brian Dabak will bat here in the seventh. Ortiz is 0 for 2. 
And he strikes out. Swung on and missed. That's the fourth for Drees tonight and the second time for Ortiz. Here's Manny. He's 0 for 2. Drees delivers and there's a pop-up. Young moves over to the bag at second and makes the catch. Two out. It's almost been too easy for Drees so far. Brian Dabach, one for two. He's got that double. The lone Red Sox hit. Now he's got two as he puts one in the gap in left center. And the throw from uh, DeLucci is not in time. So two doubles for Dabach. And that's been the Red Sox offense. Kevin Millar comes to the plate. Dries now flirting with his pitch count. 98 of his expected 105. Millar 0 for 1 and was also hit by a pitch. And he pops this one up. Soriano goes by the bag at second to retire the side. And no runs, one hit. They leave Dabak on second after six and a half stretch time in Arlington. It's 3-0 Texas. So I think we'll give Arroyo a base runner here. He's at 96 of 105. It'll be Teixeira, who's 0 for 2. Yep. Eric Young and David DeLucci. As we said, to share is over two. And not anymore. He's not long drive to right field. Millar turns and watches it go. A solo shot for Teixeira to start the seven. And the Commodore 64 says that ball traveled 330 feet. Commodore 64. The awesome emulator. So 80s. So awesome. So programmable. The Commodore 64. Eric Young will bet. Young is 0 for 1 and was hit by a pitch. Won't be this time. Ground ball to Reese. Throws over to Dalbach for the first down. So DeLucci will bet. David is 0 for 2. He has struck out. And he gets a fly ball to right. Millar is there. Two out. So Arroyo's pitch count now at 110. But... Gerald Laird is really not much of a threat to hit, so we'll let Royal go to him. Laird is 0 for 2 with the strikeout. Last batter either way. Ground ball right back to Arroyo. Throws over to Dahlbach to retire the side. One run, the home run by Teixeira. One hit, no errors. We played seven in Arlington. It's 4 nothing Rangers. So Bellhorn, Mirabelli, and Reese, uh, uh, Reese to face Drees here in the seventh, eighth. I got that right. Ryan has thrown a two hitter. Struck out four. Bellhorn is 0 for 2. And has the chopper right back to Drees. Throws it to Sharon. One out. Doug Mirabelli will bat. Doug is 0 for 2 with a strikeout. And he pops this one up. Shallow left. Blaylock goes out and makes the grab. They want Drug Brocale, but there's really no threat. Let him pitch, finish the inning. I mean, it's Pokey Reese, for goodness sakes. Pokey is 0 for 2. And the pitch here is a ground ball to Young. Throws it over to Sherry to retire the side. A gem for Drees. His night is done, I'm sure. No runs, no hits, no errors. Seven and a half in the books. Texas 4, Boston nothing. Arroyo's night is done. We'll bring in Scott Williamson, who I believe gets hurt in a couple weeks, and we'll miss him for the bulk of the season. On the year, he is, has no record and no ERA. In seven innings, he's allowed two hits. He's walked one and struck out nine. Young, Michael Young is two for three, and he has singled, doubled, and scored. Williamson delivers a fly ball to right. Millar is there, one out. Hank Blaylock is one for three for Texas. He is singled and scored. Williamson delivers, and there's a line drive right center base hit. So that's the seventh hit for the Rangers tonight. No runs, two hits, no errors for the Red Sox. They've stranded three. Four runs, seven hits, no errors. The Rangers so far have stranded two. Alfonso Soriano, the batter, he is one for three. He doubled and drove in a run in the first and scored. 
Also has a strikeout on his ledger. And he'll go down again. A 2-2 curveball. Swung on and missed strike three. So two out for Fulmer. Brad is 0 for 2 with a walk. And he goes down by way of the K. So a 1-2 pitch on the outside corner is looked at for strike three. Jeff Nelson coming in to close it out for the Rangers. We go to the top of the ninth. It's Texas 4, Boston nothing. So it'll be the top of the lineup for Boston, Damon Miller and Ortiz to face Jeff Nelson, who is 1-0 on the cyber season with a 3-8-6 ERA. He used to be the closer for the Seattle Mariners. Isn't that such a cute picture? That's got to be from the, mini, from the late 80s, maybe early 90s. Looks like it's an autograph, too. On Nelson, nine innings, seven hits. He's allowed two home runs. He has walked six and struck out ten. Damon, Miller, and Ortiz. Damon is 0 for 3. And he draws a walk. Now bring up Miller. Bill is 0 for 3 with a strikeout. Wants to get on. He only two hits tonight for the Red Sox in this first of two. It's from Brian Daubach with two doubles. Pitch to Miller. And that's ball four. And so the natives are kind of a bit restless as David Ortiz comes up. Large father is 0 for 3 with two strikeouts. Ramirez on deck. And then Daubach, who's had the good night. Pitch from Nelson. Ortiz hits a fly ball to right. Back goes Minch. He'll turn and watch it go. It's a three run homer from David Ortiz. And the Red Sox have made this a one run game. The seventh of the year for David. The Commodore 64 says it goes 340 feet. And Francisco Cordero comes in to pitch for Texas. There's still nobody out. The Red Sox have put three on the board here in the ninth. Francisco Cordero was the Ranger, or is the Rangers closer. One and one the record. He has four saves on an earn run average of 180. Ten innings, nine hits. He has walked six and struck out 14. There's nobody out. Walks to Damon and Miller. And Ortiz with a three-run shot to make it a one-run ball game. Manny is 0 for 3. Pitch from Cordero is a pop-up. Short right to Shera comes over, makes the grab in foul territory, and there's finally one out. Brian Dabak now will bet. Brian is two for three. He has doubled twice. Cordero got him. One, two, miss. Swung on and miss. So Cordero, who averages more than a strikeout in inning, will face Kevin Millar, who was the last hope for game one for Boston. Here's the pitch, and he'll go down on a swan on and miss. So Texas hangs on. Cordero slams the door, and the Rangers take the opener 4-3. to three. Totals in a second. Well, the Red Sox matter real life again. They lose the first of this doubleheader and slipped to 12 and 10. They had all three runs in the ninth as David Ortiz hit a three-run homer deep to down the line and right. They only had three hits. Brian Daubach had the other two, two doubles. Uh, for the Rangers, they go to 11 and 12. They scored three in the first, highlighted by Kevin Mench's two-run triple. And a solo shot from Mark Teixeira in the seventh was all the Rangers would need. Four runs on seven hits, no errors. Bronson Arroyo takes a loss. He's 0-4. This appearance wasn't as bad as it looked. Seven innings, six hits, four runs all earned. The home run from Teixeira. He walked one and struck out three. Williamson comes in for the ninth and strikes out, or the eighth rather, and strikes out two. Ryan Drees goes to 2-0. and oh. He threw a two-hitter in the innings and struck out four. Just gem stuff from him. Nelson gives up the three runs, but Francisco Cordero picks up his fifth save of the year, striking out two of the three batters he faced. Three hours and three minutes to play this one. The Red Sox strand three, the Rangers strand three. Stand by in the next video. Hit that like and subscribe for game two as Pedro Martinez goes in the nightcap of this true doubleheader from Texas.